engineer 775 here undisclosed location and I wanted to show you the one of the coolest hydro sites I've seen in a while and uh, there's a stream that is spring fed but it's pushing out a lot of water right now beautiful site water falling can mean a lot of electricity to run your off-grid home so what we're doing here is uh, fellow preppers capturing all this and it's absolutely beautiful we're starting up the turbine here and you can't really see I hear it you hear it though oh, this is too cool sweet and he's only got one on one out of four Start to kick on stage two, third stage. Oh, <laughs> Harris turbine, Pelton wheel, four nozzles, right at uh, 28 psi. So we're dropping water 70 foot. 70 foot from that valve. I don't know if you can see the valve right at the top, the gate valve. And then a uh, four inch PVC down to this turbine. I think it's hit its steady state right now. Oh, this is way too cool. A lot of work to build this little turbine station here. You see the water coming through. Probably doing 50 to 60 gallons a minute, dropping 70 feet. So it's awesome. There's a discharge there back into the back into the creek. This is uh, this is sweet. What a setup! Great, great setup. He's here with a fellow prepper, and he's pretty excited. He got his turbine turned on last week and making power. We're gonna go make an adjustment and see if we can get some more water out of his uh, the weir setup on his dam. But I don't know if this shows it, but that is a cliff. And he's got it supported all the way along, and uh, it's running nicely right now. So everything's open, wide open, four nozzles running. Just walking up the line here, you can see he's done a lot of work to get this line. Uh, right here suspended across this ravine in 4 inch PVC and the video will not do it justice for how long a line this is but uh, a lot of work a lot of work here here we have a, a cabinet I'm calling it the power cabinet We've got a charge controller for the for the hydro all sorts of uh, solar converters linear current boosters We've got an outback system here for an inverter charger got a Trojan L16 RE's in here we got a bank of uh, eight of those great batteries and uh, just working great when we came up here before this meter was reading uh, uh, 700 that's what the house was using and now it's reading 190 we haven't changed anything so it's making over what that means it's making over 500 watts now from the stream and we're gonna go to the top where the dam is and I'll show you the dam and we're gonna make a little seems like a lot of water's going over the weir so we're just gonna have fun playing in the water here a little bit but this cabinet was just basically built all the components were put together uh, by this fellow prepper and he's done a great job a lot of work here and a uh, real cool cool system okay we're up here at the dam See the creek coming down through here, and the weir here is catching some water. Uh, we just added this front board on just to kind of back that up a little bit. It's got a stainless steel mesh, uh, pretty fine mesh, keeping uh, keeping everything out. And uh, then got a gate valve, and you always need a standpipe in your line so that uh, it'll flow and it won't get vapor locked. And that's one thing you need whether you're doing hydro or ram pump. And have make sure you have a little standpipe. I think you can see that's the end of it there. It goes down, bring some air in so it'll flow. Nice gate valves on your system. So this is the this is the catch. And you can see he's not catching 
you could make a lot more power if you catch stream. He's probably only catching about half of what's coming through the weir here. And uh, so that's that's great news. Um, you're making 500 watts and you're only catching half your water. That's sweet. A little manifold box here. We're just experimenting with drop pipes, trying to get the air out, make sure we have all the air out for for this one, maximize the amount of water that this thing will deliver to that turbine. And here, folks, if you haven't seen a Pelton wheel, this is a Pelton wheel uh, used for uh, in the Harris turbine. You can see Harris right there, Harris micro turbine. See, they drilled out the backside. Uh, why they do that? To balance it out. So it's nicely balanced. You got two sets of cups here. This is a four nozzle, and I believe that two nozzles are catching the top spoons, and the other two are catching the bottom spoon. And the neat thing about a, a Pelton wheel is when the water, the jet actually hits the wheel, all the energy that's coming out of that nozzle is is dissipated. When it when it hits that wheel, it uses up all the energy. There's not water flying past the wheel when it's up to speed so it's a in, impulse turbine setup it's a awesome thing the Harris turbine they've been making these for a long time and they've got all the bugs worked out I would say and uh, highly recommend the Harris turbine and uh, anyway just wanted to show you the Pelton wheel this is kind of the what you cannot see when we first turned on the nozzles this is the baby that started spinning and uh, hooked to that alternator so